everyone, happy October. Today, you're gonna learn how to do these two super awesome crafts that you can do with your little ones. They're super easy. One is a little keepsake baby footprint and another one is a ghost candle that you can use as decor that you can either use with just used candles that you have laying around the house or you can create your own. You can find the materials for these projects either at the dollar store or just laying around your house. So they're super cheap, super awesome, and super fun to do. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Brittany, the B in that bam bam. If you enjoy challenges and family activities and motherhood life and all that good stuff, make sure you subscribe. Also, I throw in a lot of comedy in there because I like to think I'm a little bit funny. This is also in collaboration with a bunch of other family YouTubers. So I made this playlist that you can check out and it has access to more Halloween crafts that you can do with your family. I'll also leave all their links in the description below. So be sure to check out their videos too, subscribe to them because they have a great family variety as well. But without further ado, let's get started. Up we have the baby ghost footprint keepsake. We need a black poster board, googly eyes, paint brushes, white kid-friendly paint, black kid-friendly paint, I use an 8x10 frame, and a metallic marker for labeling my photo. I had a hot glue gun on hand, but a glue stick would probably work as well too. And lastly, a pair of scissors. I started by laying down a towel to protect my carpeting from those crazy toddlers. You know they tend to make a mess and have a mind of their own. And then I started cutting the poster board to fit the frame. I kept cutting smaller and smaller pieces until I finally got it to the right size. Now comes the fun but also very stressful part of painting those little piggies on your baby, toddler, child, whomever. I used the white paint and the paintbrush to cover the bottom of the foot and I used to press down. It took me a couple times because she doesn't like to press her toes very hard on the paper but usually older children can get it in one step. And here's the basis of the ghosts. And now we can start hot gluing those silly googly eyes on each ghost. You can try and use a glue stick if you're working with children and they want to glue it on themselves. I used a hot glue gun and just took extra precautions with my baby around. Then I took the black paint to draw the mouths on. I would definitely try and wait until the white paint is completely dried because I did it a little bit too early and it made it a little challenging, but I still made it work. And then I used the metallic marker to write Halloween 2020 and a name at the top. And this was the finished product, little footprint ghost, Halloween 2020. Next project, we need a candle and we need some toilet paper, some googly eyes, a hot glue gun again, but you can try using a glue stick. This project is so extremely easy. All you need to do is take toilet paper and wrap it around an already existing candle. Then you just glue on the little googly eyes. And then I just took some extra toilet paper and kind of glued under and over the bottom and top of the eyes to kind of make it look like the eyes were peeking through the wrap. You can also do this with a mason jar and tea light. Ta-da! All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you like these crafts. If you did, comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out all the other videos in the playlist I made that is geared towards Halloween activities with my collaboration motherhood YouTubers. So thank you so much. I really hope you like this video. Please subscribe and have a great Halloween. Stay safe. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah. Mm-hmm.